ahead and warn you right now. If you see any awkward looking cuts, it means I died. Now that that's out of the way, we move on to this level. Now, there's a hammer, so it's pretty obvious what you have to do for this. But, the thing you might not have realized up until this point is that not only can the hammer hit blocks, but you can hit the hammer. And in this case, we, whoa, I'm gonna wait for the bomb to go away. And in this case, you can uh, reposition the hammer by kicking it, and then use that to position it properly to move the blocks. Uh, to hit them to the either side and grab the dream bags. And the one thing that's complicating this is going to be that cannon to the right side, which can shoot bombs that land pretty damn close to the hammer. Yeah. Whew. Alright. I think I've stalled for enough time here. Let's go ahead and move this into position. Oh shit. Alright. Just stay cool for a little bit. We're gonna kick this into place. And away we go. Oh, yeah. Damn bombs. And now the cannon's going to be coming after me. Great. And you die. Good news is the cannon doesn't respawn, so if you kill it, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright. Well. That was more complicated than it needed to be. And that's going to be a pattern for some of these levels. Alright. Now, for this level in particular, it looks way more complicated than it actually is. You just want to be able to make an ice block and kick it toward that center island where all the dream bags are. The only thing complicating this is those owl bastards uh, running around the outside. Now the key to this is, if you kick uh, the ice block to the outside uh, edge, you're doing it wrong. You keep kicking it along the inside towards these blocks, and then walk along the outside to kick it from the right angle. It's actually a fairly simple solution, really. Now I really hope you don't have a bad short-term memory because the hammers are coming back. And this time, instead of one hammer, pause for dramatic effect, this time we are going to have two hammers that we'll have to deal with. This isn't thoroughly complex, it's just a matter of making sure the hammer is set in the right position. Now in this case, we're going to have to set it this way, then kick an ice block down into it, but there are five noggles here to try and complicate things for us. There we go. Again, you can do the whole fudge pop bonus thing if you really want to. It's not entirely necessary though. And wait for the bomb to go away. Grab the dream bags. Ah, bananas. Anyone ever have runts before the candy? My favorite was bananas. Anyhow. We move on to this island, where we have plenty of those spiky bastards to complicate things. Now, one up takes priority. And now we're going to start making a bridge across this section. And toward here, so we only deal with one at a time. And as soon as it gets into that bottom section, we are going to do this. Now we can kick one up here so that we don't have to deal with any more of those things than we have to. And grab the dream bag that way. Get back here, you little bitch. Okay, now it sees me. Alright, kick it in place, wait for the thing to go away. And grab the dream bag. Now this following stage is one that looks way more complicated than it actually is. It's sort of complicated, but not nearly as much as it looks, because springs, springs, and more springs. 
And on top of that, there's a cannon on top shooting bombs at you. Your objective here is to see these gaps where the fudge pops are. You want to be able to freeze one of the noggles, use uh, a combination of the side and vertical springs, or horizontal and vertical springs, I should say, in order to move it into place, and be able to fill in one of those gaps on either side. And of course, to do this, we are going to have to bring back our old friend, the Ice Pillar. Now, if this gets a little too complex for you, and I'll admit, it looked a little complicated to me the first time through, too. What you can do is just sort of either freeze all of the noggles, which that could co complicate things for when you're hitting blocks off the spring, or just sort of quarantine them a little bit. Now we're going to kick this one off the vertical spring. Oh, thank God it didn't blow it up. Now, ice cylinder that. We're going to kick it horizontally now. Wait for it to get into position and hope that the cannon doesn't blow it up. Ice cylinder. And now we can kick it across into that gap. Take that, cannon. Now this next level is going to be one of those levels where, well, I died. So, Awkward cut in three, two, one. Okay, let's try this again. Now the idea here is simple, but the execution takes a little work. We're going to freeze this guy and either kick it into the spring or kick it directly into the hammer. Doesn't matter which. And after that, we're just going to put that one away for now. Take care of this guy, grab the dream bag, and put a bunch of cylinders in so he doesn't screw with us later. Uh, that should hold him for a little bit. Now, what we're going to need to do is move the hammer temporarily so that we can get this ice block into the right position, then move the hammer and move out of the way of the hammer. That was what killed me last time, was I didn't move away fast enough and the hammer swung around and hit me. With... Oh, really? Okay, another awkward jump cut in three, two, one. All right. Simple idea, not so simple execution. We need to move these ice pillars, and we're going to start with the right because this one is moving toward the bottom section. What killed me before was I started from the left and moved along the upper wall and killed me. All right. Now, from here, we can go ahead and move on to the top section. Notice how it goes to the right wall? We're gonna move into this gap to the left, seal that one off, and grab this dream bag. We're gonna have to move this back a little bit so we have a section to move to, because we're gonna do the same thing with this one. And we're not gonna worry about blocking it, because it's the end of the level. And this final level we're going to see before we move on to the boss is one of those things that takes something fairly simple and then makes you do it several times over. Because now we have this series of islands that we need to traverse. And we start off in this corner. We have to take out the ice pillar and then freeze this guy. Just to make a little space for us. And this is going to be rather tedious. You can start going down, but if you do that, you're not really ha gonna have anywhere to go. So it's actually better off to just start going to the right, using this one section here. To act as sort of a... I... I guess the word for it is bunker. I can't really think of a proper term for it. But we're just gonna wait here for the Noggles to come across, walk into our path, and then we'll more make ice blocks out of them in order to reach the island on the right. Alright. Ice cylinder. That'll make things easier. Now. From here, we are going to go straight down. Yes, this is one of those things where you have to go to the side, down, and around before we can actually get to the island with all the dream bags on it. Alright. Cylinder, we're good. Now, this is where things become slightly complicated. What we need to do is 
be able to get these things to lead us to the left. Now the question is, how do we do that? And there are two ways that you can go about this. Number one, you can freeze the noggle from the spawn point down below, take out that cylinder, lead a noggle down, and then freeze it and kick it into place, or you can do this, which is much easier. Just form a little gap here, freeze these guys and kick them over. Alright, now that we have this, we're going to make uh, that one frozen. Do the exact same thing here. Use the gap, kick it over, freeze that guy so he doesn't bother us. That's it. I'm over here, Noggle. And now we do the exact same thing all the way from here over to the island with all the dream bags on it. There's not really much else to explain here. I'm at a loss for words. Oh, hey, the level's over. Now, let's get a little status update about the princess and the palace she is in. And according to this apple, the palace has sunk. But now, it is reappearing. And hopefully the princess is still safe and sound with a shit ton of water in her lungs. Man, hateful monster this time. Hater's gonna hate, I guess. But, time to move on to the palace. This boss is very similar to the last one. This one's called Puro. <sighs> I hate clowns. This one works similarly, except he throws balls that bounce toward you, and you have to kick the balls toward him in order to damage him. Sounds exactly the same as the last one, but there is something slightly different about this fight, which you will see once I damage him a little bit. Ugh. Take a little work sometimes. He's not always very cooperative about being in the line of fire. Note how he doesn't go down the entire way the way that Coke did before. That's because he has something else he's going to do. Oh, there we go. He flips toward you, and that's one of his attacks. That complicates things, because it makes it much harder to be able to line up. See, if you try to kick the balls toward him and he does it, he'll just go right over the top of them. Ugh. And then he backs up and destroys even more of the balls, making it even tougher to hit him. Basically, what you need to do for this is just be really, really quick. Or, what you can do is... Kind of lure his shot to the side, then try and lure him to the side. And then as he's moving back into position to throw another ball, or get ready to do his little somersault forward, kick a ball at it. it. Takes a little planning ahead to be able to line up the shot, but it works. And, having rescued this princess and this palace, that means we are now halfway through the regular stages of this game. Yes, Princess Lutia, I am kind of great, thank you. But, next time on Kiko Cubicle, we will move on to... And I don't want to spoil it, so we're going to go through this dialogue. Yes, we are moving on to Cake Land. There's lots of fun ahead.